Hello Aviators, you joining with the Aerotechnicians YouTube channel. For those of you who doesn't know me, my name is Dinon Gavatta and I work as an aeronautical engineer. So the goal of this video series is to bring aerospace, aircraft maintenance related concepts and break it down into its simplest form so you all can understand the basics because the importance of basics is so often undermined. The basic is the foundation of anything so if you are bad with basic you're not building up a good foundation in the long run and you will feel like oh i don't know anything to be honest i've got a degree but i got no idea what this means that means so the goal of this video series is to bring those easy concepts and lay down in front of you and try and go core by core and get it done and explain it to you in a simpler form so that you and me we all can understand and we all can build our foundation we can have a solid foundation so we got a lot to cover let us, without further ado let's get to the video So the basic most question, what is aerodynamics? So if I, if I explain it in layman's terms, aerodynamics is anything that moves through air and how the air behaves around that object, okay? Me sitting here stationary, I still have aerodynamic forces acting on me because I am stationary, but the air is moving and I am in this medium called the air. So there are aerodynamic forces acting on me. So if someone asks what is aerodynamics, aerodynamics is when anything moves through the air and how the air around it behaves, how the air around the object behaves. So this is the simplest, most definition of what is aerodynamics. And we can't really explain aerodynamics without the four main forces of uh, flight. So what are the forces of flight? There are four forces of flight which is thrust and we got drag which is opposing it and we got lift and we got weight which opposes it and as i said when the thrust opposes the drag you got forward movement and when the lift opposes the weight we got something rising up in this case an aircraft so these are the four fundamental forces of uh, forces of flight and you can't explain aerodynamics without these forces and the next most crucial fundamental core is Bernoulli's principle I'm pretty sure you've heard Bernoulli's principle number of times in many versions but what does actually Bernoulli says he got a long equation we know that we don't understand and any element of that equation but there's this fundamental thing we need to remember as engineers as engineering students as pilots which is at the end of the day Bernoulli told if the pressure increases there's a reduction in volume ve velocity and if the velocity increases there's a reduction in pressure and that huge equation that Bernoulli wrote can be uh, brought into a single statement which is static pressure plus dynamic pressure equals a constant so this is what Bernoulli said you can't actually apply this Bernoulli's theorem to a, a moving object or an airplane without having a, an aerofoil so le let's now look into an aerofoil I, I think I, I'm gonna post a picture of a um, aerofoil and what are the different terminologies um, terminologies which is involved in the aerofoil so the front part of the aerofoil is called the leading edge the um, rear part of the aerofoil is called the trailing edge so this this is good enough for now know that front part leading edge rear part trailing edge for this explanation now now we'll see how we can bring an aerofoil and Bernoulli's theorem and bombard it together and understand this magical thing called left so Bernoulli said pressure increases velocity decreases velocity increases pressure decreases so when you see the aerofoil you can see there's a thick curved portion of the aerofoil 
Now this is called the cam camber area. So camber area is when the the curvature of the top curvature of the aerofoil and the the bone surface of the aerofoil is more or less flat. So now how can we say which part has higher pressure, which part has uh, higher velocity? So usually camber part has higher velocity and um, a lower pressure and the lower part has lower velocity and higher pressure he hence there's a there's a difference in pressure so the aerofoil lifts up this is the common definition and this is the easiest but have you ever questioned why that velocity will increase why that pressure will increase there there are different um, there are different definitions for this some would say if you if you look at the curvature up there and the um the streamlines or by the way streamlines are the the airflow which passes through the aerofoil and if if this streamline get mixed up that's called turbulence which is not good i'll explain you in a bit so there is a compression of the streamline and through the conservation of mass we can explain that's a increase in value, uh, increase in velocity. But even engineers today, they're trying to find a correct explanation and they're finding a way to explain this properly. The way I use um, to understand this principle of how the, uh, the air above the aerofoil has a higher velocity and how the lower surface has a lower velocity is by something called cutter condition. Cutter condition is the circulation of air around the aerofoil. So this uh, this circulation of air happens from the leading edge to the trailing edge and from trailing edge to the leading edge. So now when the air comes and hit the aerofoil the point at which the air touches the aerofoil is called um, a stagnation point at stagnation point the velocity is zero so the air comes and hit the aerofoil and the air moves from above and i said as i said the cutter condition it takes air from the trailing edge moves through the leading edge so it increases the speed of the airflow with the upcoming air speed and the lower surface will have um, the, uh, from the cut effect the air will still flow in a circular manner from the trailing edge to the leading edge and this opposes the incoming air that's why there is a reduction in velocity and this is the concept i use to help students understand this speed reduction and how the pressure increases and as Bernoulli said now the lower part of from the cutter condition the lower part the velocity decreases because there's opposing air moving around so there's a decrease in velocity and that increases the pressure below this is what i use to explain anyone this is the easiest manner to use and there's also with Bernoulli there's another competitor which is newton's third law and you know when the air comes through through the aerofoil there's an upwash and when the air goes down there's a downwash so every action has an equal and opposite reaction so this has an a lift force um a lift force will come out of this action reaction and one more thing to remember aerofoil has different application you can't use the same aerofoil to every type of aircraft high-speed aircraft have different aerofoil propellers have different aerofoils so that's another video we got a lot more to cover but you should remember there are different aerofoils for different applications so let us now move to angle of attack what is angle of attack so if you take the uh, aerofoil that's the leading edge draw point there trailing edge Draw, draw draw a point there and take a ruler match those uh, match those points and you got a straight line so that we call the chord line the chord line is the straight line from the leading edge to trailing edge now if we say this is the chord line and if we send a gust of air towards the aerofoil and then this is the line of air this is the chord line chord line and this angle is called the angle of attack now pilots can change this angle of attack to increase the lift but there are limitations you can't go 
overboard with this angle of attack and if you go overboard that is what we call a stall how how a stall happens stall happens when air i told you there is always a streamline this aerofoil starts to steep and then now air won't be going through the surface air will jump from a to b and then this will create vortices which we call turbulence and this will actually bring down the can bring down the aircraft this phenomena we call as stall. that's angle of attack for you and also another way to understand angle of attack is as i said earlier if there there are there's a pressure difference that create uh, a rising aircraft or a rising uh, aerofoil now if you grab them all and make it to one single arrow going up now this arrow will go forward and backward when the pilot moves the aircraft or the wing when the wing leading edge goes down which means pilot is exerting a force forward and the pressure line will go towards the back and if the angle of attack is increases this pressure line will come towards the front that's the basic thing of angle of attack these are the main things you should know angle of attack is the angle between the air and the cord line and also secondly this angle of attack can be controlled by the pilot third one is drag drag is the opposition to the thrust so when there's thrust there's always drag because there's always a object and this object will create resistance so this is called drag and there's a lift to drag ratio where drag comes down and the lift comes down and that actual point they meet that's the best lift to drag ratio that engineers try to design of course we try to bring our aircraft as smooth as possible to reduce the drag but there's always the trade-off so this is what i wanted to bring you today what is aerodynamics and discuss the core principles of aerodynamics so as i said to summarize aerodynamics is up when an object moves through the air it is the study of how the air behaves around it and the next thing is the four forces of fight we got lift weight uh trust and drag third one is Bernoulli's principle Bernoulli's principle is nothing but when the pressure increases the velocity decreases when the velocity increases the pressure decreases and then I went into a um, went into the aerofoil shape and I, I mentioned that different aerofoils have different applications so when you design the aircraft you have to choose the aerofoil that is that actually serves the purpose and the next thing is I've explained how to incorporate Bernoulli's theorem into an aerofoil and how to answer the question of how does the velocity increase is not people have different different definitions for that some would say okay there's this curvature think of it as a hill if you drop a ball from a hill it will increase the speed and some would say in a flat surface it won't increase the speed this is and this is just for you to understand the concept i would ask you to research on the kata condition c um K U T T A condition which is the circulation of air from leading edge to trailing edge trailing edge to leading edge and the trailing edge to leading edge part opposes there that actually slows down the air below the aerofoil so this is how the velocity decreases and next i went into explain what's an angle of attack angle of attack is the angle between the court line and the incoming air and also i explain if you if you join all the arrows which is going up which is the left and make one strong arrow which goes up and if you change that to through through the trailing uh, leading edge to trailing edge that is where the angle of attack increases and this is controlled by the pilot so this is aerodynamics this is the concept of aerodynamics broken down in the simplest form i hope you enjoyed the video and if you think this video is helpful please share this video and also give a thumbs up button and if you have further questions drop them down in the comment section below i'll take my time to answer them all so that's it i wanted to bring and till my next video keep fixing